Number eight then from the 2019 Higher Maths Paper 1, area between two curves. Normally a big question, only four marks here. So at least I suppose they're just quadratics. You're given these two curves, you're given their equations, and you're also told that they intersect, first of all, when x is negative 1, and secondly, when x is 2. And the first part is just to find an expression for the shaded area between the two. Then in part b, which of course we just continue the flow, calculate the shaded area. Well, the area is going to be given by the integral starting at negative 1, and finishing at 2, the integral from negative 1 to 2 of, now just be careful, the upper take away the lower. You're wanting the heights of these little bars in here. The top y coordinate's given by this one. That's the x squared plus 2x plus 3. Subtract from that the y coordinate given by the lower one. That's the 2x squared plus x plus 1. And it's all of that times dx. Now, I don't know if that on its own is the first mark or whether you then have to tidy up. I suspect that would be the first mark, but I'll just tidy that up. Not that you, you could just go ahead and use all six terms. You would still get the correct answer, but you might as well simplify them because they're going in pairs. x squared take away 2x is a negative x squared. 2x take away an x is just a positive x, and 3 take away 1 is 2. So that's what you're going to work out. Well, now integrate. Build up the powers. Add 1 to the power, up to 3. Divide by the power, either over 3 or a third of it. Next one. Add 1 to the power, up to 2. Divide by that power, either over 2 or a half. And if it's a constant term, it goes back to the linear one. That's to be evaluated. Now it's just down to put the numbers in and do the arithmetic. So work it out at 2. So it's negative a third of 2 cubed plus a half of 2 squared plus 2 times 2, very tedious, minus negative a third of negative 1 cubed, what's well, a negative, need to be careful there, plus a half of negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1. Probably that's the third mark of the whole question. Now it's just what does this lot come to? Dear me, well the first one's negative. That's negative 8 upon 3. That's just a 2, and that's a 4. Let's keep this bit safe because there's too many negatives floating about. Negative 1 cubed is still negative. A negative times a negative means it's positive a third. Negative 1 squared is positive, so that's plus a half, but that's minus 2. Tidy up. Well, the thirds can go together. Minus 8 thirds. Minus 1 third is minus 9 thirds. So that's minus 3. I'll just put the rest and I'll put them together. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus another 2 is 8, but minus a half. So finally, putting that together, that's 5 minus a half, which is 4 and a half square units. Or you could put that down as 9 upon 2 units squared.